guys and welcome back to our highlights from our game against Dorchester. Coming off of a poor result against Tarot, Gospel seemed desperate to seek redemption. Since the game we have seen three new players come through the door, two of the three in the squad against Dorchester, including former Magpies man Alfie Stanley. Dorchester also had some familiar players, one being Johnny Ofeji who departed the club earlier in the season. It wasn't the liveliest of starts as the opening 10 minutes saw few shots. Dorchester did have an early free kick which was drilled straight into the Gosport wall, but we were yet to see an effort on goal. Well, I must have jinxed myself and right in the previous tweet as Gosport broke the deadlock a minute later. Good work from debutant Cope and Tarbuck won Gosport a corner. From the corner, Kavanagh cross found the feet of Dan Wooden, who volleyed home to get the goals underway. Following the goal, Harry Kavanagh scored an absolute screamer to make it too. The defender transferred into the left wing position before unleashing a rocket into the top corner to make it two. Wench did try to claw one back for the home side and after going for goal, teammate Spedge stood in front of the ball and ended up blocking his own teammate's shot which would have actually seen a good shot on goal if not deflected. Dorchester really needed that effort to go in as moments later Borough made it free. Wooden played a lovely through ball into Cope, who did really well to get his short cross, but Hallett deflected the effort to Ramos, and Rafa smashed one out the crossbar, but like a boomerang, the ball came back to the Portuguese, who then buried it into the bottom of the net to make it 3-0. Just before half-time, Gozella in the left-hand channel put in a deep cross, picking out Fletcher yards in front of goal. The attacker struggled to connect with the ball as he glanced the effort wide, with the whistle sounding seconds later, Dorchester nil, Gosport free. Gosport did start the second half with some new faces, as Lucy's fine and hooky both entered the pitch, but despite the changes, the bulk of the shots came from Dorchester in the second half, and on the 62nd minute, Kosola stormed down the left-hand channel, whipping a ball into former Borough man Johnny Ifeji, who took aim towards the top corner, but good positioning from Toby allowed for him to reach the ball and tip it out. After playing the 90 minutes of normal time, the referee added on an additional 8 minutes. The first opportunity in the additional minutes fell to Moore, who blasted one over the Borough Bar from 20 yards out. Finalising the game, Fine had the last chance. It was Tarbuck who sent Fine 1-1 one -one against Horlick, with the winger rolling his shot just wide at the right post, with a full-time whistle going Dorchester nil, Gosport 3. It's definitely one of the best first half performances I've seen in a long time from Borough, with the game pretty much being over when the first half ended. Potentially it could be a massive 3 points in our playoff push, and a big game up next as we host Salisbury, but final words from me, of the Borough.